This is the 2021 Ford Bronco, and over the past nine months, we've shown you how it looks and given you an idea of how it performs. Now, we're gonna show you how to take one apart. With the help of Ford, we're gonna take the roof and the doors off, but we're gonna go a little bit further than that. The Bronco is modular, and we're gonna show you just what you can do when you wanna take it apart. So this is Jake Williams. He is an engineer on the Bronco for Ford, and he's going to help us remove the three-piece modular roof. This is the standard roof on all two-door Broncos. And then we're gonna take the doors off. All right, so we are here in the Bronco and Jake is going to show us how to take the front roof panels off. So where do we start? Yeah, so we're gonna start the process by pulling down the visor. And then we're gonna disengage the latch that you see right in front of your face. Yep. And then we're gonna make the three quarter turns and that will disengage the panels. Two back here, and off we go. All right, let's take the doors, or take the roof off now. My panel comes first. There we are. Not too heavy. Then I'll take mine off. Perfect. That was easy. We are at the back of the Bronco now, and we're going to take the back portion of the roof off. And there are a few steps, but we're going to use the provided toolkit. This comes with every Bronco. It has all the tools you need to take the roof and the doors off. So Jake, where do we start here? Yeah, so we're going to start the process by opening the swing gate up. And then we're going to open the flip glass like this. All right. Now, there's two things that we need to disconnect before we go too far. I think the first one right here is going to be the power and then we're gonna do the washer or fluid. So for both of these items, we've implemented into the hard trim piece connection points here and here. And that allows you to put the harness in a place so it's not shaking around in the vehicle or. Smart. All right, and then what about the, uh, the bolts that we have to remove? Where, yeah. where are those guys at? Yeah, so we got three bolts that are easily accessible in the back right here on the right side and three bolts that are easily accessible on the left side. Um, following the removal of those bolts, we'll move to the front of the vehicle and access a bolt in the, a bolt behind the front driver's seat right there and a bolt that is behind the passenger seat there. All right, roof bolts are done, man. Jake, what are we doing next? Yeah, so next we're gonna take the swing gate and we're gonna close it like this. Then we're gonna hold on to the roof right about here. And then we're gonna pick it up off the pins that are locating it in place, like that. Then we're gonna walk it backwards. She's a weighty boy. get clear. You could probably set it down right over here. Now it is time for the passenger door to come off. So Jake, what are we going to do here? Yeah, so we're gonna start out and we're gonna get this mirror out of the way. So that's gonna swivel right here. It's gonna make it a bit easier to pull the door off. Then the next step is we're gonna disconnect the electrical. So that's the plug right here in the middle. We'll pull that out. Gotcha. And then using the socket, which is in the toolkit on board, we're gonna undo this upper bolt and this lower bolt. All right, and then it's just lift and move, and there's even a little handle right here, and so you can carry the door nice and easily. Also, it's worth remembering, you need to have the window down first. Thanks to Jake's help, we got the roof and the doors off this Bronco, but there's a little bit more that we can take off. Here's how modular it really goes. Stripping the Bronco down completely is not a quick process, but it is possible with a little know-how and a few hand tools. Ford sped things up for the purposes of this video by removing the 7 and 8 millimeter bolts and leaving us with the 10s, just to give an idea of where everything is at. But the most substantial changes don't even require a socket wrench. Removing the wheel arches is as easy as flipping 5 latches and yanking them away from the body. You can easily pull all 4 arches in a few minutes and there are plenty of reasons to do so. For a start, removing the wheel arches allows the Bronco to squeeze through narrower trails. But this also gives fans of painted arches an option for off-roading. 
Rather than risking the fancy finish, you can simply buy a set of unpainted plastic arches from Florida the Aftermarket and swap them in anytime you want to hit the trail. Making bigger changes can take up to an hour or more, although the reasons for doing so aren't as cut and dry as they are for the wheel arches. Aside from swapping in unpainted fenders to protect the stock panels, there's no real practical benefit. It's a similar story with the grill and grill surround, which can swap out as you please for more stylish or more durable elements. Yes, this sort of modularity allows you to modify your Bronco at the drop of a hat, and it's pretty darn cool on its own, but these aren't make or break changes we're talking about. The fact that it's even possible for owners to make these changes with little guidance is something of a triumph for home-based tinkerers, and it's a testament to the thought Ford put into the new Bronco. Making it easy for owners to modify their Broncos also makes it easier for them to justify buying new bits and bobs to swap in and out. And that sort of enthusiasm stoking creates the off-road brand evangelist Jeep has had to itself for so long. So let me walk you through what we have done with this Bronco. We have taken the grill and the grill surround off if you want to sub in your own elements for those. That is quick and easy. We also took the front and rear quarter panels off. Now that's not something you necessarily want to do if you're going off-road, but if you want to protect your painted elements or sub in your own aftermarket elements or Ford Performance or whatever, you can do this. More importantly, we took off the wheel arches. That's going to give you some extra clearance when you're going off-road. We didn't take the bumper end plates off, but those can also come off. And all of this is done so that the Bronco can really go over any type of terrain, as Ford is fond of saying. It is modular. It is relatively easy. You can do all of this with a little know-how and some hand tools. But the idea is that you can turn your Bronco into exactly what you need it to be when you're going off-road. We're looking forward to driving this in the next few months. For now, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and wherever you get your social medias.